So you want to be an artist? Well, then get in line. Because there is an increasing number of people who want to express themselves, who want to show their creative side. And as a consequence, the internet is quite frankly saturated with people who have some desire to share this. The problem though, of course, is always money. And the thing is, the problem with money is that it's a zero-sum game. There's only so many resources available and there's so many people. And as a consequence, the more well-known names tend to take the lion's share whilst the rest of us guppies simply have to make do. So the vast majority of people who engage in art will not ever live from art or even make money for that matter. I mean, if, if you want the easy money online, get an OnlyFans account. Say, for example, every patron that you get there will give you between $5 to $15 on average. It'll cost you just the camera, the lights and whatever, and yeah, you're off to the races. Whereas, yeah, I wrote Cayman with Smartphones, How Evolution Shaped History and Finds, and it's my baby. I, I wrote it over the course of two years and that was essentially my lifeblood every day. Anyway, I currently sell the book for $5.99 as an ebook and for $14.99 as a physical book. Now, in regards to percentages that I actually get, it's, it's actually quite good because the thing is, Amazon broke through the traditional publishing market by offering a higher percentage. Whereas in traditional publishing, you're lucky if you get 10 to 15% of the revenues generated by your book. On Amazon, you get 70% per ebook and 60% in physical minus printing costs. So on average, it works out as 210 for the ebook and $3.37 in terms of actual profit. The issue, though, is that that's not the entire story, because that just involves the costs of production themselves. If you actually want people to see this, if you actually want people to buy it, you will have to buy advertising as well. And then that can become exponentially more expensive. Because, say for example, if you bid for a keyword that is worth 10 cents, and you need five people to click on the advertisement to make a single sale, then you've lost 50 cents of potential profit for each sale that you make. So in reality, your margin is $1.6 and $2.87, which fair enough. But the thing is, conservatively speaking, I spent about 750 to 850 hours writing this book. And that is not including research. If we include research, we could easily double that. In addition, I have not earned that much from it. Plus I hired two editors, a grammatical editor and a science editor, as well as a layout guy to create the cover and the internal layout. At best, in terms of uh, financial sense, I've just about broken even. In terms of ROI, so far it's absolutely terrible. My return on investment is negative, or at most I'm earning about $1 per hour, which is essentially sweatshop labor territory. I must stress though, this isn't a badly performing book either. It has hit the genre bestseller on numerous occasions, gotten stellar reviews and whatnot. It's quite frankly outperforming most books of its kind out there. Most books do not ever sell more than 400 copies, ever, and that's including traditional publishing. So most books actually lose publishers money, but the way that they work is a lottery system in the sense of they are buying a bunch of books in the hopes that one of them is the next Hunger Games, the next Harry Potter, the next Twilight, all those books pay for the rest of the books that do not actually earn the advance that is given to the author. But Amazon has a bestseller rank where they rank books from one to infinity. And you can use this to gauge how many books they're selling per day if you know what you're looking at. Roughly speaking, if your Amazon bestseller rank is between 
95,000 and 130,000, presently you're selling at least one book per day. However, if we then use the information that there are roughly 8 million books out there, then you get an interesting perspective. The vast majority of people who put books on Amazon are not being read. They're, they haven't likely sold a single copy in their entire lives. That's thousands of man hours just thrown in the garbage and because most people will not ever see or even are even aware of the existence of these books. Of course, to apocryphally quote Isaac Asimov, the great science fiction author, when asked why 90% of science fiction is bad, he retorted, 90% of everything is bad. However, that still leaves that 10% among those 8 million Amazon books. That's 800,000 copies of books that people poured the raw emotion, their skill, their time, and the vast majority of these will never see the light of day because they're hidden away on Amazon and unless you just happen to randomly bump into it, that is it. So it's a very uphill battle. It's the same in virtually every artistic endeavor that you want to do. If you're an actor, for example, you might get a, a role as an actor in some theater if you're lucky, or you might uh, have a two-bit role in a movie somewhere, but at the end of the day, the actually well-known names of artists, of actors, are few and far between. So what is one to do when faced with this, when faced with the fact that chances are you will not earn a single cent from doing your art, from doing it, from pursuing your interest. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what what it is that the MGM lion's ring said? I know people um, typically look at the the lion itself, but if you look around the ring, it has an interesting phrase, ars gratia artis, or translated from Latin, art for art's sake. If you research it a little bit, you'll realize it was a motto used in the 19th century in France, asserting the importance of art beyond any considerations, be they educational, philosophical, or monetary. You don't engage in art for its practical value, but because you feel the need to say something deep within you. If you actually wanted raw value, again, if you wanted easy money, get an OnlyFans or get a bloody real job, you know? There your ROI is capped. You know for a fact how much you're gonna get. If you want to pursue the artist route though, then it has to be born because you're actually interested in the thing beyond financial considerations because they will likely never come. So you have to do it out of a deep desire to express something. Only pursue art, only pursue creative endeavors if in your deepest core that is what you want to do. And maybe you won't be able to express your core quite as intently as you might had you hit it big, had you gotten the means. But as Orson Welles put it, the enemy of art is the absence of limitations. <laughs>